Hey yo together and very welcome to the start of two crazy replays today on Frozen Temple with another TVC against Matiz. Oh yeah. So that is game number three of this best of three. The second one was a short rush where I lost, which wasn't a really good game. I just went up to Forex Reaper and straight up uh, Forex Marine and straight up lost, so yeah. Uh, and then I thought, yeah, well, let's take Frozen Temple and try the same thing I just did on Galactic Process. So, spawning in the bottom right possession of Frozen Temple, it is the Blue Sir Matisse. And he's playing against me, the Yellow Terran, spawning in the top left position, playing for Pro Kings, it is Alex Asha. And yeah, as I said, we will see the Three Rex Reaper again. Because you know, what, what happened, what, what worked once might work a second time, but this time Matiz, <laughs> he's a smart guy, he knows. He knows, oh yeah. This Terran got a 3 rex Reaper for sure again. Let's go it safe. Let's play it safe here. Gas, pool, hatch. And I think that's a smart decision. I really think that's a very smart decision. Looking so far really normal. There are the three barracks and the two gases. Matiz might confirm soon with the Overlord. Or maybe not. Ah, he's getting a super early Roach Run. Look at that. Two minute Roach Run. That's really early. really early. And Roaches can work really nicely against Reaper, so yeah, I think it's a good decision to go for them. And he should maybe inject. Less chatting, more injecting. The first Reaper shows up, sees the late hatch and ah, the second Reaper. Ah, there we go. Back home. As, as long as you don't know what's coming, play it safe. It's better. I should have maybe tried to go for the Roach one. But you don't want to lose your first Reaper uh, against Speedling potentially or anything. And back at home, you can you can stay safe. If you go 3x Reaper, there is almost no chance for the Surf to go up this ramp as long as you are constantly throwing grenades and microing your Reaper, repairing the wall. There's no way, no way at all. And yeah, income wise, you can see I am ahead because of his opening. He's going for the roaches here instead of the drones in, in the first place. He's going up to three queens so far. And I'm checking for a speed overlord drop. So, I mean, speedling drop. Speed circling drop. Which can happen as well. So, if, that that's the thing. That's a good counter. If, if the Terran is going for uh, lots of Reaper. And you can sneak out 8 circlings with speed and just drop them right here for counter attack. That's so strong. As long as you can hold on with your mass queens or whatever you got back at home, you're in a phenomenal position. And yeah, this time the Reaper won't find much damage here. This, this cliff is sealed. The ramp as well. Creep is going on. On the way. So that's really good for Matiz. And against Roach Ravager, you don't really find any damage. Oh yeah, careful. This this is now just a small dance where nothing should really die. Uh, Cancelled on the cliff. Okay, because he sees with the Overlords. That what I that's what I mean. If you if you see with the Overlords where the Reaper are, you know. Okay, now I can creep spread. Now I have to move my units there. Now I have to do this and that. And yeah, there is one queen again. Ah, but I see the creep human get both of them. That's unlucky for Matiz. But he immediately plants another one up there. But behind that, he confirms with the Overlord. 
The Overlord might die, but TC is okay. One factory, two command center, normal stuff. What's the income? It's looking solid for him. And he's heavily ahead in, in, in unit count. Due to his army, I guess. Reaper all, only costs one supply, while Roaches and Ravager should be two. Uh, the only good thing is for me, I can hold his creep spread. I might get a Ravager. Ooh. The Ravager does have armor? Yes, okay. So that's good. He's going up to Hive Tag. No, not yet, a uh, Lair, sorry. Lair Tag. There's a bunker. And maybe we will see the second factory. It, it worked once, might work another time. Oh. Losing one Reaper there, but getting one Creep Tumor. That's not bad. The second one survives, and the Queen as well. And now, slowly but surely, he pushes me back. Oh, I might go up there. His army out of position. I might even. Oh, wow. Do I get the Bailing Nest? I get the Bailing Nest. No cancel. That was strange. Ah, but I didn't confirm the layer tag on the way. But that was that was strange. So do I go for the creep tumor again? Back at home we have the second factory now coming. I'm not really hitting the creep tumor, so it still lives. Oh that was good pickup. Getting a ravager for no losses, that's really good. Yeah, Matit has some problems as it looks like here. And do I get the creep tumor now? Yes, I do. But he forces me back. This is good positioning here. So I need to go all the way around, down here, up the ramp again if he holds here. And finally, Matiz can take his third base, but it's so late. It's super late. Oh, the Reaper are going in, finding a queen kill. And, a, and some drone kills potentially here. So far only two, three... Wow, you saw that jump from that Reaper? That was strange. Oh, if I get another Queen, that would be massive, but it's not gonna happen. Is it? No. No. Okay, so now my Reaper are all dead. No map control for me. And my macro back at home wasn't the best. I'm just now starting to get up the barracks. But Matiz, can he move across the map? There's only one tank and two medivacs, so two tanks now. Ah, it's looking not too good. If he would move across the map right now, he would take a lot of damage. And yes, marines are not good against roaches and ravager. Uh, but the tanks are the big factor here. Oh, will I get the overseer? Uh, I might get the overseer here. Oh wow, that was very nicely done. I do like the position of the circlings to spot. That's exactly what you want to do as Terran as well with your marines, or supply depots, or whatever, just to know what's going on. Where is his army moving? When is he taking a base? And Matit going towards his fourth base now, which he really needs. And Hive on the way as well. And another hatchery. So, he wants to rush it. He knows, okay, marines are not that good against Ultralis. Or maybe he goes even for, for Bootlord. Oh no, this tank can't get picked up. Ah, I recognize it. Wow. Didn't thought I would be that smart. But that's good. I'm heavily supply kept again. And now he sees the marines. And he knows, okay, I need to make sure I don't die here. Morphing some more Ravager, morphing some Baneling. That's good. Clearing mm. some Creepin before the attack. Dropping the tank, and yeah, this ramp, going down this ramp is difficult. Will I get the other creep tumor? No! Uh, oh oh, there's one more tank left here. In the medivac. No, you can't. Oh, you take so much damage there. You can't move down the ramp currently. But the marines fighting not covered by the tanks is huge. And he might just find good damage here. Ah, but it's not enough. Marines are strong. Even though I don't have 1-1. One, one, but Marines with them are strong and tanks are helping out. We do see the Ultralis Cavern on the way. And finally for me 1-1. One, one. But yeah, the production is huge. And the income as well. Looking really good for me. Mm, 
nice drop down with the tanks behind the rocks. The splits are okay even though there are no bailings, but trading all the marines away for the circlings? Well, I don't know. That's the thing, 1-1 one, one circlings wreck zero, 0 marines, so whoever is one upgrade ahead wrecks the other one if it's marine against circlings. Ultralisk Cavern is finished, so we might see soon some Ultralisk, but he needs to, to defend the space. Can he do this? He's evacuating the drones, losing a couple of them in the process. His creep spread is not looking too good, so can he engage into this tank line? I don't know. He might find some tanks here. That's really good. Uh, one gets saved. Uh, but now I'm moving down towards the fourth base. Which he somehow needs to defend. The, the marine flank! Oh wow, finding the Ravager. Okay, good bank connections, but he might lose this base if he doesn't work fast enough. And there are the medivacs. Losing one, uh, almost two tanks. Oh, big shots. Coming down here. Now the fourth base is ready, armory will be started soon. The, the build I'm playing currently is not really crisp, but the macro is okay-ish. And Matisse just can't keep up, even though he has a macro hatch. Uh, his injects are not good enough, and his income is also a bit... Yeah... Uh, also a bit... Not looking too good here. He might find all the tanks and the medivacs! That was an awesome hit there. Killing 3 to 4 medivacs with tanky vacs in it. That could have lead to a potential comeback. Ah, I'm losing another medivac. That's not good. Overextending. Way too much here. Ah, the circling might find some kills here. Ah, that's so annoying. Those two tanks. Ah, losing another medivac. So Matiz is finding damage. And the Ultralis do have the uh, uh, their carapace upgrade, the chitinous plating, but he still needs more. Can he afford it? So that's the that's the big question. He's retaking his third base. That's really good. He needs to do that. Uh, yeah, my macro, my macro is not looking too so. Oh wait, okay, there's the rest of the army. Well, then it's looking scary. I would say a liberator on the way. Two two is on the way. So if 2-2 two, two finishes, I now yeah now it's looking if I would go ahead, get ahead in the upgrades. Oh wow! Okay, Matit's going for the spire, which is really good for the corruptor against the liberator. But so many tanks. He does have quite some ultralis out. Six in total, I guess. Five. Okay. The 6th one just now coming, and 2-2 two -two against 2-2 two -two will be the case soon. If you manage to get to this stage of the game. Not enough banelings here. And uh, they are the Liberator. The splitting against the banes is okay. Not the best one. But he's fighting on the Liberation Zones and in Tank Fire. But he can clear the Liberator, so that's good. Oh. Uh, Try to go for the hatchery, but I need to be so careful. There's another tank a in, in tank mode, dealing also quite some damage. And I think I just broke him. Corrosive files are missing completely those three tanks, oh no! And the base goes down. The circlings are coming with the broodlings, nice and round, but still he's fighting under the tanks. Ah, the Alto is tanking so much damage here, but in the end it's not enough. Matiz is losing too much army here. And I think he might just see soon the GG. I'm up 70 supply. The last Ultralist. Five more coming. Can he hold on? But if he loses this base, he's... Look at the oversaturation. If he loses this base, then that's basically GG. And I fear he will lose this base. Ultralis flank dealing a lot of damage, wow, but is it enough? The Liberator killing a lot of drones, there are Ultralis coming, trying to avoid the Liberation Zone, then go GG! And I win game number 3, and this game. So there you have it guys, in TVC, 
Tanky Vax and Reaper can work really nicely. Okay guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I wish you a very nice day and goodbye. Hey oh there, thank you for watching. If you'd like to support me, simply hit the thumbs up button. Do you have any wishes, feedback or suggestions? Put them into the comments below. You may also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I wish you a wonderful and stress-free day. Take care. Bye bye.